What up, everybody? It's your girl July from Kickback Couture, and today I'm going to show you how I mix beats and reason with stock plugins. And uh, you're actually in luck because I don't use plugins when I mix my beats in actuality. So I don't know if that's controversial because a lot of companies sell you products that are going to help you mix your beats or whatever, but I really don't do much but leveling. So um, I guess I could try to like fake and act like I use plugins to mix when I really don't necessarily. I could tell you what I could use if I decided to use a plugin, but I feel like it would just be a bunch of lies because like I said, when I mix, I don't really use plugins. I use what's already like if I compress, I'll use the mixer. Um, my master channel is completely different and I've already done videos on that so if you want to watch the mastering video definitely uh, click above I'll go ahead and drop that um, it'll be a card above and also if you want to see the video with me making this beat it's on the producer grind kits website uh, definitely go check that out it's a gunna type beat uh, making a gunna type beat and reason and it's on the producer grind kits website and uh, I'll drop that card up there too Um, let's go ahead and get into mixing this beat without plugins or with plugins. I guess you could use if you decided to use plugins. Let's go. So, this is the main melody. I'm gonna go ahead and loop this. No, I'm not gonna loop this area. I'm gonna loop the next area. So, in order to move my loop uh, locator points, I just press Alt and Down on my uh, directional keys. Um, and it moves it for me, so... So, uh, I usually start with my kick, and it looks like we have everything... All the drums playing in this area, so I'm gonna move this right locator to 13, and in order to just move the right locator, I held down Command on my Mac and clicked on 13. Uh, and it automatically moves that so uh, let's go back up here and uh, solo the kick turn loop on with L um let me see the kick in the rack I wonder if it is 24 bit or not. A uh, problem with Reason is if you try to edit a 24 bit sample, it will crash. So there's only one way to find out. Not that way. I always accidentally press that button. Um, we want to press this pencil tool. And great, it's not 24 bit. So uh, I hear a pop at the end. Very subtle, but I'm going to fade it out. So I can't hear it. It may be a part of the sample though. Let's see. I think it's this area here that does that, but it's definitely a part of the sample. Yeah, it's a part of the sample. So not going to worry about that. Uh, it's not a pop. It's more of a... I've been proving it's not a pop, it's just like the way the waveform is mangled with whatever distortion I was used on it. So uh, on my kick, I don't have any effects, it's just a sample. We see this bypass button is on, so none of this is working. I'll simply delete it so this doesn't confuse anyone. Um, I have done videos on that. If you want to see the video of what you just saw, there are two videos. One of them is how to get your drums to smack hard. I'll drop that card, and the other one is how to get your drums to smack hard. It's probably a, a different title, slightly different, and that card will be above as well. So I just deleted everything. You see nothing's there. Let's listen to the kick. Sounds the same. All right, following my kick, I have my 808. And uh, me mixing low end in my headphones is really difficult. So towards the end of this session, I will take off my headphones and listen to my monitors and change whatever I need to change. I'm 
I'm actually gonna check right now, so I'll be right back. All right, these levels already sound good to me. So uh, move on, moving on to my snare. We see when I made the beat, I'd already previously made adjustments. No clap. I'm gonna turn this hi hat down. <clears throat> no open hat, no perk. Go ahead and check out the filter on this uh, snare. Okay, yeah, so definitely filter that out because I don't need that low information. And then this snare should be good, but it's not. So yeah, just uh, make sure you go through your drums and filter out the, the low end. Not on your kick, because uh, if you filter your kick, you remove the low end and that's pretty much the kick's purpose. You really don't have to worry about hi-hats because it's you know usually in this range unless you have a uh, unique hi-hat sound all right next loop area is probably the same piano is going into my melody bus and uh, nothing's in it and to prove that I'm just gonna take it out of the melody bus so instead of routing to melody group just route it to the master section and uh, there is nothing on in my master section as of now so yeah I forgot to turn off those uh, alright let's get back to what we're doing so we hear that it got substantially quieter and uh, it's no longer peaking red in this area. So uh, unless you didn't watch the video, you shouldn't tell me in the comments, it's peaking, it's distorting, you did it wrong or whatever your rule, whatever you think your rules may be, but uh, whatever. Um, sorry, there's just so much controversy about these things, it's hilarious. Sad part is there's really no secrets to mixing or mastering. Now there are different techniques, but there are no secrets. When someone tells you how to master something, you think you feel like there's something they're not telling you. Like, nope, that's everything. All right, next section. All right, so um, I guess the elephant in the room could be, other than plugins, panning. Um, I don't really pan if I only have a few sounds in the beat. It just like I, I just leave everything up the middle. I leave the panning and stuff for when there's a rapper rapping and they have you know the ins and outs and their ad libs. A lot of times you're hearing music when you're wearing headphones. It pans from left to right and. You know, there's a lot of things going on there. Now, with, I do leave with, and with comes from things like reverb and delays and stuff like that. But um, 
as far as like plugins with reverb i don't i didn't use any reverb um on this i used effectrix which may have reverb nope i used stutter vinyl and reverse so once again if you want to see the video where i made this definitely go check out that video with the producer grind kits and there's nothing on here because it's bypassed but i can delete it if that doesn't make you believe it um the piano has effectrix on it as well same preset as uh the gonna the gonna loop down here yeah so uh you could use reverb to give you width um but as i said it, it doesn't fit in this beat and i rarely use reverb on anything but uh i guess i'll give you an example yes. all right cool and normally you would add reverb as a send and not an insert effect so if you wanted to do that um i'll just come up here and then actually do it in this area up here this is the send area in the mixer and i have reverb already set up but i'll show you how to set it up just going to right click create send effects it'll open up the browser over here and i'll click on the reverb i would like to use and this is a stock reverb um let's go and uh this is the main loop here so we're gonna put three on this is the send we're using for this mix channel and then turn it up now we hear the reverb without with it just gives it another dimension adds width i'm not going to change the settings or anything All right, cool. This is pretty much the entire mix. I will check everything. I filtered the low end and the top end out of the flute. And I, I'll give you another like walkthrough with the width. For example, this piano right here. If you're wearing headphones, you'll be able to hear what I'm saying, but this is a width knob. I'm gonna pull it mono. Now you only hear it in the center. Back up. So that's as far as I go with width. I don't pan much because um, if, if I only have a few sounds, like in this case, this beat has three sounds. I feel like I don't have a reason to pan and I don't pan my drums because um, if I do pan drums, I'll pan my hi-hats. And if I pan my hi-hats, I wouldn't use a stock plugin. Um, I could do it in the sequencer or I can just simply dragging this plugin called pancake which is free it's not stock but it's free looks like i have half time on it but uh it's bypassed so it's not even doing anything in this case so instruments effects effects cable guys pancake too and this is free and i might turn this on and pan my hi-hat but that is the only thing i pan so I'm sorry if this was a disappointing video if you thought I would like have some secrets or something because I really don't mix my beats with plugins really it's more so creative things like reverb or effects as you see and panning with pancake too but uh, I don't do anything too special it's really straightforward and it takes time to master it so um on my master channel I'll discuss that in the video and the card below above above it's above so i did listen to my monitors and i didn't add anything of course no plugins or stock anything uh one thing that i am going to do is 
turn down this main snare just a tad bit so it's just gonna bring it down here and this is what it sounds like now <laughs> And this is what it sounded like before. Just a tad bit overbearing in my monitor. So I turned that down and uh, that is the end of my mix. If you like this video, give it a like, comment, subscribe. Most definitely let me know what you would like to see next. It's all culture, kick back, cook up, and don't think I'm withholding any information because I'm not. Definitely not.